You don't do uh, antique oil cans or anything like that, do you? Not as much. All right, folks, just got the score of the day. Um, it took them about 10 minutes to find it from a barn a little bit down the road. They came out, threw it on the table, and said 60 bucks. Welcome to garage sale season, baby. I think you guys can see it. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, this one. Made me a good deal on this one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. My name is Chase. I'm a full time Amazon and eBay reseller who loves to sell video games, sports cars, collectibles, sometimes jewelry if the money is there. And I'm going to go to garage sales today. Bring you guys with me. So let's do it. Good, how are you? Good. Good. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing, but we're here. <laughs> Fair enough. He wants to buy all the cards. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw these on Facebook. I was like, ooh, I love me some cards. Is this one still complete? Yeah, it is complete. It's got the Justin Verlander rookie card in it. Okay. So, um, if you're interested in all of them or you want to make a deal or something, I'll consider offers. Okay. And I have more at home, but they're just miscellaneous cards. I, I gotcha. mean, I've got some that I'm keeping, but... Uh, sure. But they're just random from the 80s, basically. Okay. Cards. Would you do 30 on this one? Yeah, I'll do 30 on that one. Okay. Then I'll look at the other ones. Nope. How close could you get to like 90 on the rest of them? Uh, 90 and 30. Yep, so 120 for all of them. Yeah, I'll do that. You do that? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'll check out these before I. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, but these. Uh, those are one more that I'm yeah, missing. Oh, at the top. Cool. They're all cool. the original characters. I've got maybe 50, 60 percent of the guns. Okay. Uh. So, wow. I've had quite a few people that want to come by, and we haven't started until eight. So yeah, the prices. I'd maybe take 225 would be the lowest I'm going to go for right now anyway. Okay. At least you're still in one piece. Oh, that's pretty reasonable. It's definitely a nice collection. Wow. You don't happen to have any video game stuff of any kind, do you? I do not. Okay. I mean, I've, I've got a PlayStation 2, but I still actually use it, but... Oh, okay. Um, no games you don't play anymore for it? I don't think so. You very got any games you want to sell? <laughs> Um, no, my son plays everything. Okay, okay there yep, go. there you go, yep. Let's see. So, is there a Boba Fett anywhere? Uh, there is not a Boba Fett. Okay. I, yeah, I, I bought, like, all these when I was, you know, I played with them, so they're... Yeah, but, yep. Um... So I don't have any of the lightsabers, so that, I know that's a hot item. But For sure. I know this guy's worth a decent amount with the lightsaber in mint condition because it's the oh, slide yeah. out one. Yeah. But the lightsaber is tough to find. Yeah. Yeah. If you could do two hundred, I would, I would take them. Obviously, it'd be easier if uh, we had lightsabers and right, that kind of thing. Right. But uh, could you do two twenty? Otherwise, I, otherwise, if you want to swing by uh, at the end of the sale on Saturday, maybe. I would consider right. that, but... I understand since now. you've got people potentially looking yep. at them. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Okay. So 220, and then we said one, 120. Yep. So... 
340. All right. There's three and 40. All righty. Sweet. All right. Thanks a lot. I might go grab a tub from my car and throw everything in it so it'll be a lot easier. All righty. <laughs> cool. I'll be right back. All right. This will do the trick. More space. There we go. <laughs> yeah, <Nice>. absolutely. <laughs> So do you think you'll be bringing by the other cards later? Or? Uh, probably not today, because it's okay. just me and my dad running the show today. So yep. um, they, I'll bring them out tomorrow if you're going to be by, or if you want to okay. give me a contact, I could take pictures of them and send them to you. Yeah, I could do that. Um, however you want to do that. All right, best way, just go for it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that works. Right on. Kind of bittersweet to see that go. I know, right? <laughs> I bet. Uh, I bet. You're not in the M&M selection right? you've got a great selection over here. Yeah. Still got the candy in it. Not as much. <laughs> not, <laughs> that's a, it's a good, you know, you never know. <laughs> I mainly do video games and stuff, but right. as you can see, sports cards. And you don't do uh, antique oil cans or anything like that, do you? Not as much. Okay, if you do, I got a ton of old cans. All right, cool. All right, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, so I just paid three hundred and forty dollars for everything here. Two twenty for the Star Wars. There's actually a lot of weapons and whatnot, a bunch of figures, and then one twenty for all the sets, including two thousand one tops, which pretty much gets all of that back. Let's keep going. All right, guys. So the first sale, as you get, as you saw, was a success. I definitely had to pay up. I kind of expected that going in because stuff was advertised. They had pictures with prices on the card, so. I actually ended up getting the cards for around maybe 40% off of what was marked and they were already kind of marked at half of the uh, actual eBay value so great deal there. Star Wars they did not have marked on Facebook but they had, had them marked at 250 I paid 220 He said he had lots of people messaging on Facebook about them which I do believe. But guys I got there at 737. Official start time was 8, which is the early start time around here. Thankfully, they were cool with me looking around. They were pretty much set up. Um, so obviously a little bit of gamble. I could have been waiting there. Um, but yeah, that paid off really, really well. And now there's a neighborhood sale. There's a ton of neighborhood sales today. Like It is a crazy roadmap today. Um, so I'm going to the one that's close, but there's one in the neighborhood that has video games advertised. Just video games, no specific uh, video games. But hopefully they'll be open early and I can hit them and then hit the rest of the neighborhood. So let's go do it. Just picked up this DS bundle for $30. They didn't have it marked. Wanted an offer. Has a little bit of wear on the inside, but obviously it's great that it comes with the original box. It's got a few games, including like, um, basically like Cooking Mama type games. One of them is a combo cartridge with like Cooking Mama 1 and 2. Um, but maybe 10 games. Cartridge only, nothing too major. But nice deal for 30 bucks. And now they're bringing up some Infinity and Lego Dimension stuff. Atari. It's the video system with classics galore from Space Invaders to cars that roar. Shout out to Steve. He actually watches the channel. I've done a couple deals with him in the past and he hooked me up with a deal. 30 bucks for everything here. So it was a buck a game, 10 for each connect. And then there were 12 games, so I even got a couple bucks off. And then Ted, a local guy who I've sold jewelry to in the past, he actually it was like hey i bought this wanted to make sure somebody else were to grab it i could get it for you so he bought it for 15 i gave him a nice little finder's fee so i gave him 20 but it's an atari 2600 with a couple controllers so thank you to ted and steve on this one so just went inside to a house to look at a wee bundle and i'm getting it so I initially said i could do 40 or 50 for a bundle with games I ended up being two wii sports wii sports resort new super mario bros so i just said i could actually do 60. And she said, cool, so I'm gonna go load it up. So here is the $60 bundle, it has the balance board, two Wii Sports, Country Dance, Just Dance. Chuck Cheese's party games, I think, is actually kind of uncommon. 
Sports Resort. There's Tangled, We Fit. There's the Mario. And a few remotes. Hey, how's it going? Okay. You guys happen to have any video games or anything you're gonna? Video games? No. no. I actually collect those myself, so. Oh, okay, <laughs> right on. I saw the video game trivia, so I was like, maybe. <laughs> How much for this guy? A uh, dollar. Okay, I'll take that. There you go. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. your wallet. Jerry, Thank check you. Check out his wallet. <laughs> 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 you, said, you can tell I'm into it too. <laughs> No games you don't play anymore? You would you would sell? Or? Oh no, I, I'm a bit of a, a collector myself. So like the old NES, the Super, the yeah. 64s, all so that. You see it, you're you're keeping um, it. You know, I'm always out looking for video games myself. And right on, that's awesome. Yep, that's what I'm doing today. So hopefully I'll find <laughs> some. <laughs> you guys have a good one. You too. Yeah, thanks. One dollar no holla. One dollar no holla. <laughs> One dollar no hava. So neighborhood one is done. Pretty good start to the day. There were about 12 sales in this neighborhood and then the one that I started with before it. Um, definitely happy with the start, but there's a ton more and it's still only 8.47 in the morning. So I'm gonna roll out to a couple other neighborhoods. Hopefully continue to get some scores. Just paid $10. It's Alias season one through four. Easily bundleable on eBay. I'll have to check Amazon, but. Yeah, 10 bucks, pretty good deal. Well, second neighborhood, pretty rough. Uh, I got the DVDs, but that's not even really a good score, and there was only one other sale. So, giant neighborhood, normally 30 sales in this neighborhood. So, I don't know if the neighbors didn't get the memo or what, but two sales. So, we're gonna just head to the next one. I picked up another Wii. It was their extra console. Two nunchucks, system, balance board. Had to pay up a little bit at 25 since it's kind of not in the best shape and no emotes, but still a good deal at 25 bucks. All right, folks, just got this score of the day it started with this two dollars for michael jackson obviously that's nothing big but this was big n64 absolutely beautiful um this was the original box the same box the two controller bundle that me and quinn got as kids for christmas so this is pretty darn nostalgic. Unfortunately, no controllers, but it does have the system with expansion pack, and then the jumper pack is also in there. It's got styrofoam on the inside, and it also has three games, which were like Army Men um, and two others, nothing too big. I paid 60 bucks for it, and I'm absolutely stoked to get this. I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Drove down a half a mile dirt driveway to get to their sale. This is what it's all about right here. The retro goodness, absolutely love it. And it's nice because guys, it's 10, 15 now. So it's been over an hour really since I've gotten a score. So super excited to get the score of the day at 10, 15. So real quick, I forgot to mention the N64 was on an ask. Um, it took them about 10 minutes to find it from a barn a little bit down the road. Um, they came out, threw it on the table and said 60 bucks. Pretty darn stoked to pick that up. I'm at lunch right now, about to grab some food and then might go out for round two. Sony Handycam, $5. Gotta have it. All right guys, so I just got home. Gonna get everything unloaded and I will show you guys everything I picked up in a little bit more detail. Okay guys, so back down in the basement, got everything spread out from garage sales. 
I ended up coming home after lunch. I hit two sales on the way home, I guess. But the only thing I got was a $5 bag of Hot Wheels. And that'll actually be for my nephew for his birthday, which isn't a long time. I just like getting sweet deals for presents for the niece and nephew and for my own kids. But yeah, so $583 all in for the entire day. Um, that was about seven to noon was the time that I sailed. So good five hours with a half an hour lunch. And I'm pretty happy. So just wanted to go over everything and get the potential full value and the potential profit on the items. So $30 was this sale, 12 games. These are all kind of just decent, complete games, nothing huge. You know, maybe $5 a game, but so is at 60. And they sell pretty well on Amazon. That's why I'm able to get stuff like that. And then an Xbox One Connect, maybe another 40 in value, 100, and then the 360 one, maybe 20. So 120 in value there on 30 spent. So the total value is 120 as it sits right now. These, the baseball sets, ended up being nine of them. In the pictures, they only had five, so that was a pretty cool bonus. I bundled it down to $120, and they're actually $19.99 through 2007. Every single complete factory set. All of them sealed, except for the best one, which is really unfortunate, the 2001. Uh, still, he said that it is complete. It just sells for a lot less unsealed. But still, the total value probably around $400, so that was a really, really good buy at $120. Bucks. Uh, we'll be a little more conservative and say $350, but that puts our total $350 plus $120 is $470. And I will get out the calculator now for the rest of this because it could get confusing. Okay, $470. And then Alias paid $10, potential value $25 for season 1 through 4. Uh, this N64, I got it all spread out, so here's the box. Beautiful condition box. Um, definitely barn fresh, but nice shape overall. I absolutely love that thing, the score of the day right there. And then the N64, which has the expansion pack and three games. Sarge's Heroes, Air Combat, and Top Gear Rally, plus the original jumper. Um, so no controllers, but still potential value there, probably around... $200 since it has the original box and the expansion is definitely going to help the value. All right. And now the Wii bundle. And this one actually got a little bit better as I got home. So some of the cases were empty, but a couple of the cases had like two discs in them. So it turns out the only game missing is Chuck E. Cheese's Party Games. But that one had another Wii Sports. So this Wii has not one, not two, but three. Wii Sports, and that is my most desired, most needed game when I get Wiis because I bundle them with Wii Sports. So that is amazing. And then Tangled, Just Dance 2, Mar New Super Mario Bros, almost everything complete. And then on down you've got Wii Sports Resort, Just Dance 3, Country Dance. So a pretty nice solid bundle for 60 bucks. Got the two remotes, the board, and then all of these extras right here as well. Great deal for 60, we're gonna call that another probably we'll call it 200 just to be conservative but three Wii Sports definitely adds up pretty quick so our running total is at 895 and then one thing that I really haven't shown closely is this Star Wars set so he had it marked at 250 I paid 220 uh, you guys probably saw a lot of it I counted the figures there's 46 so that is why I feel pretty good about this buy. That comes to less than $5 a figure. The other reason I feel pretty good about the buy is all of these weapons. Now, it may be hard to see everything that's in there, but there's probably 15 or 20 original weapons. And when you bundle those with the figures, you know, that's when you can get $30, $40 for things like this Yoda, you know, or um, just even a random clone trooper that's in decent shape, or Han Solo with his weapon, uh, those are gonna sell for pretty good money. And then I'll probably just lot out the lower value ones that don't have weapons. Either way, I think we'll just call the value an average of $10 a figure, put it at 460, and that brings our running total to 1355. And we're not done yet. So we also got the $2 Michael Jackson experience. Probably worth like 10, maybe a little more on Amazon. I uh, haven't looked up the risk 
uh, sealed office politics for one dollar. I'm just gonna call it ten. Um, and then the other Wii Bundle paid 25 with the Wii Balance Board. Call it 60 because they sell pretty well on Amazon. And I already got my Wii Sports to bundle with it. So that's amazing. And then we've got the DSi Bundle. $30. Not the best shape, but the box is definitely nice. So we'll call that worth about 80 uh, Seven or eight games with it. Nothing too major. The Atari is down in there. Paid 20 And that is probably worth 60 since it has a couple extra controllers. And then this, one of the scores of the day, I didn't even realize how good it was. I was assuming it was probably worth 50 it was marked at 5 The Sony Handycam. Uh, model number, you guys can look it up, CCD-TRV308. Definitely look out for Sony Handycams, because that one sells all day for 120 plus shipping. And so we'll call that $100 after fees. And that puts the total value to $1,675. On the day, all of those are conservative estimates. Leaves a little bit of room for anything that may not work or might need to be sold for parts. So I'm pretty happy. Spent 583, total value over 1600. So more than a thousand bucks profit on the day. Four and a half hours of garage sales. I am absolutely thrilled with that. Thank you guys so much for coming along for the journey. Um, if you like resale content, if you like garage sales, if you're interested in learning more about reselling, building a side hustle, or building your business, definitely subscribe, hit that like button because I've got tons of videos just like this coming out. I definitely recommend, take note of everything that I buy, take note of some strategies that I utilize. Um, I don't know everything, but I do know a lot about video games, toys, and sports cards, and I think you guys can definitely pick up some little tidbits just by watching these videos. So. If you liked it, please hit the like button. It really helps. And we will see you guys next time.